And we are back. Thanks for staying with us. Joining me on the couch right now is Abiodun Odu. He's a writer and film director with over six years of experience in the creative industry. Prior to his outing, um, he had his first experience as a cinematographer, where he had the opportunity of working with several multinational brands. He's also made his debut series of short films like Afi David, a comedy drama in 2021, which, you know, he released... And, of course, he's also released, like, a couple of other movies afterwards. You are welcome to the show. Morning. morning. Good morning. How are you doing today? I'm doing good. All right, great. So talk to us. You've been in the creative space for six years. Yeah. How's that journey been? Yeah. Are, you in a, are you a Gen Z first? Or? Uh, I'm a millennial. You're a millennial, yeah, okay. I would say a millennial Gen Z. Oh, I'm a, okay, that's yeah. fine. So, yeah. yeah. How's the experience been? Yeah, it's been, it's been awesome. Prior to that, I, I, I studied as a doctor. I'm a dentist. Ooh, so look was, at you. Lot. I think it's had to be a journey of passion. I just really wanted to make films. I wanted to tell stories. Yeah. So that made me venture into it for the first time. And then going to film school to learn about it. And I was like, okay, yeah, I think I'm comfortable doing this in my life. You have a science background. Yeah. I mean, you read medicine and surgery for what over close to eight years yeah, eight years. and here you are delving into the film industry yeah. what was the fascination for me i've always uh, been fascinated with the arts i used to when i was younger i used to draw a lot okay. i used to make comic books i used to write uh, i love to just write novels and just you know pen down ideas and other things so um that has been even when i was in school i was in med school i was always writing doing stuff I'm um, taking pictures. I, I started a photography outlet and other things, which led me down this road. So I've always been, in one way or the other, involved in the arts. Okay. Um, now let's talk about your latest project, Ihonaya. Yes. Oh, my love. My love. Oh. <laughs> and uh, yeah, and I think like, it's, I mean, it's sort of spot on. Today's yeah. International Women's Day, and you're talking yeah. about a woman here. I would, yeah. yeah. So talk yeah. to us about what inspired Ihonaya. Yeah. So um, I really wanted to just um, tell an authentic. Um, Nigerian story, a nostalgic Nollywood story, and okay. something basic, something about love, um, something that had uh, a, a lady at the center of it. So the basic synopsis of you and I am is a girl uh, and a childhood lover growing up at the countryside in a village in uh, Izwoya, in maybe Anambra State or Enugu. And then she wants to go pursue her life as a journalist in the city while the man wants to stay in the village. Oh. And that brings the conflict of interest between them and, you know, the rest is history, but you can always watch it on YouTube. Yeah. Ah, uh, okay. That's yeah. quite an interesting story, and it's yeah. not it's a not a common one yeah. either. Did you write it as well? I mean, no, you so write. I, it well. I I came up with the story. So my my writer is a, a lady, Fisai or Jabodu. Okay. It's also a fun fact. Every one of us that worked on this film, we are not Igbos. We are. You're actually, joking. Yes. We are not okay. Igbos. So, um, did you have, I mean, because you're telling um, a, a, an, a, an old African story yes. here. So, how were you able to speak the dialect? Yeah, so, because I, I grew up watching a lot of Igbo films and, you know, those English films. And okay. we wrote it in English, but we, the names were in Igbo, the, the community was in Igbo. Then we just got actual Igbo actors to portray them. And we got one of the actors, um, Precious, she was, she just sat as a language coach and just guided in speaking the right dialect that was like unifying for all of them and we just winged it. I was just directing based on the emotion I was getting from them and it was magic eventually. You know, I'm picturing you right now as a filmmaker, as a, as a producer on set with, you know, other um, young people, you know, in your same, in the same age group like that yeah. are also your peers. Yeah. How does it work? Do you sometimes get, you know, some, um, you know, like, oh, um, no, please wait for me to finish with this. Or wait, you know, some some yeah. restraint. Yeah. Talk to me about some of the challenges that you experience on set. I mean, working with your directing friends. is a very tedious task. Uh, it's a lot of uh, human management, you know, and you know how, how managing human beings can be like. A lot of people come with diva attitudes. A lot of people exactly. are more receptive. So it's it's a lot of, and I think my background as a doctor really helped me a lot because. You see a lot of patients in a day, the different people, uh -huh. different levels of temperament. Yeah. So you just know how to handle yeah. every kind of thing that is thrown at you. And I think that was what I used to just maneuver my way in the space. Yeah. Okay. Now um, let's talk about what's next for you. I mean, you've yeah. done Ihuanaya, right? And you're yeah. waiting for, um, yeah. 
you know, what's that next project that you're yeah. so eager to... Currently, we are in funding stage for some of our feature films. So um, I'm trying to take a break from doing short films. So we do more of YouTube projects now, feature-length films. But then we're trying to do even much bigger, something we can carry for uh, to, to cinemas or streaming platforms and maybe possibly festivals also. But then... To do that, no, cinema is a very uh, expensive art form. You need funding, and you know it's still a gamble because art is very subjective. Your yeah. work might be or might not mm -hmm. be received, mm -hmm. might not be understood. So mm -hmm. a lot of things in consideration. But then, the, obviously, there are still many stories that we've not tapped into. Explored, yes. Yeah, yeah. I agree with you. We are very resilient in that regard. Mm -hmm. And um, yes, yeah, so talking about resilience, yeah. what has kept you going in the last? six years as a filmmaker, as a director, as a writer. Yeah. Because recently on, on, on X, there was a, a debate of, yeah. of sorts of, you know, yeah. and um, experiences that were being shared of a lot, a lot. newcomers in the a industry lot. and what they've had to go through and yeah. experience. Yeah. And, you know, there was also that dichotomy between how product, the welfare bits of um, how uh, of production crew members yeah. and, and, you know, actors. cast members. Yeah. So. Talk to us about all of those, I mean, all of the dynamics, it's you know. It's a whole lot. It's a whole lot. First of all, like, a creative in Nigeria, if you're a creative in Nigeria, you need, you need a lot of things to really keep your mental health in check. It's a lot. Everything is coming after your mental health. And you just need to find ways, coping mechanisms, basically, to just mm -hmm. struggle and maintain the sanity. Yeah. Even though everything is waiting to pull everything down. Um, in the industry, is, uh, it's really unforgiving. It's, there's a lot of gatekeeping. So as a newbie, you really have to, like, really try so hard to forge your own mm. way into the industry. Mm. But luckily, I, I've had help from film mentors here and there. I mean, the film school I went to also was a very good start also, like to build a network, to know people and to start doing everything. And then, you know, they will always be like, I don't do that on my productions, do anything the actors are eating, the crew members also eat, eat like yeah. the, the, these rooms that are being slept in by the actors should mm. also be, because mm. the crew members work more over yeah. time. The actors just come, they're in exactly. green room, they're in the trailers, yeah. they just come in and, and then, breathe out. But yeah. then we need to still, I mean, respect these people. Mm. They're also artists in their own form, just mm. as the actors. But I think gradually we're getting there in Hollywood, gradually. This has been very interesting conversation Likewise, yeah. here. Thank Likewise, you so yeah. much, Abiodun, for I'm being here. And wishing you all the best if you don't know who I am. I'm definitely going to watch it. Thank and I you hope so you much. watching at home also go watch it. Catch it up on YouTube. Yeah. I'm going to get my commission for that. Advert. <laughs> 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 yeah, so uh, we have to head over to the kitchen now. We have Winfrey and Chef T. Flo.